It is 4,000 acres of protected land, but development may be inching closer to the parklands. WDRB's Joel Skipper shows us what residents are doing to keep things the way they are. Those who live around this area of the parklands at Floyd's Fork are concerned that any possible future development will not hold up with the current infrastructure. So you have these huge cliffs up and down the, the fork. They'll put a neighborhood up here. Nearly 100 people gathered miles. Tuesday night at First Baptist Church in yeah. Eastwood to the discuss the, the future of Floyd's up. Fork and any development around the parklands. Back in 1993, a design review overlay, or DRO, was set up creating a protective zone for the future parklands. But more and more developers have been eyeing the area surrounding it to keep up with the growth. We are about to ruin a $130 million project by allowing development in floodplains. Steve Henry is a former county commissioner who helped create the DRO and doesn't want to see the area around it become even more high density without appropriate infrastructure first. We've land banked for 30 years and we've given a, about half of the land to the parklands and so we're very concerned about where this is all going. The area has more than 30 miles of riverfront, which is eroding in several areas, causing a concern for any future building on a floodplain. That means that all the development that's happening here needs to be done in a way uh, that's not going to destroy that, because we only have one of it, and, and if, if it's destroyed, it's destroyed permanently. 19th District Councilman Anthony Piagentini said before any development is considered, the city and state must look at the roads, especially the smaller ones, which would need to accommodate increased traffic. You're taking a left-hand turn where Shelbyville Road is doing a blind turn at 50 miles an hour. So it's, it's a very, very dangerous area. The area recently received a national award for its environmental protection, and that's something neighbors say it needs to keep. They don't want more homes or businesses threatening that. Ongoing push-pull uh, with the development community, with infrastructure uh, interests such as MSD, uh, Louisville Water, and other organizations like that, along with the city and the state. And Councilman Piagentini says more community meetings will be held in the future. Reporting in Louisville, Joel Skipper, WDRB News.